Hi, let's talk about function interface. Function interface used for creating an output object based on a given input and the logic. So you may get a single object like this and you apply some logic to this object without changing this object and you output some a brand new object. The important point is that you don't change this object. You only get the values from this object and you return a brand new, totally different object. A function interface used for four things and it has four main methods. They are apply and then compose and identity. But in the previous video I told that a functional interface has only one method. So this functional interface has four methods. So they are contrary, huh? The thing is that a functional interface has only one executive method and it is apply in our case. The other methods are used to use the other principles of functional programming, but they are not do the processing of data. They are only used for chaining or composing the functions. Okay? So the executive function is apply. It gets a single object as an input here, T object, and it returns an R object. So these R and T classes may be the same class or they may be different. This is not important, but the important point is that we get we get only one input and we output only one object. This is for applying a logic. We will do an example now. The other method is antem. And antem method gets another function reference as a parameter. So this is a brand new thing for us. A function may be passed as an argument to another function. That means our function's apply method will be invoked automatically. And then the apply method of after function will be invoked. This is how function chaining works. The other method is compose. In this case, first, the apply method of before function is invoked and then our function's apply method will be invoked. The fourth method is identity. This basically returns uh, the input argument of our function. This is related to monads in uh, functional programming, but I will not dive into the details now. So how to write a function? As I said before, function is an interface with only one abstract method. So, so you cannot directly create a function instance. Instead of this, you may create an anonymous subclass of this function interface. You may implement this interface anonymously. You know that syntax. Here we are trying to create a function, a processing unit that counts the words inside a sentence. So let me show you the types. This is the uh, type of the input. So since we need to get a text, our input type is string. And since we want to find an integer, the word count, the output is integer. So the syntax is we need to define, we need to reference a function that gets a string and returns an integer. Okay we refer to a function object with this. So how to implement a, an interface anonymously? Uh, we are creating a subtype of this interface with nib keyword, again, getting a string and returning an integer. We know that syntax. And inside the curly parenthesis, we are overriding the apply method. Because as I said to you before, function interfaces executive function is apply method and you need to override it but you don't need to override the other functions because function interface is a single abstract method interface SAM and you only need to override the single abstract method and it's apply okay this apply method gets an input of type string because we define it here, this is the input type, and it, this is the string. 
and your method must return an integer because you defined integer as the output type okay after writing this method you will implement the logic inside it you get a string let's say t and you split it by um, by blank characters and then you get the array of uh, the words and then you get the length okay so you split the text uh, from the blank lines and you get the length of it to find the word count this is a simple logic how to reference this function object as you see we refer to this function with find word count this is an anonymous function and we refer it by find word count since this find word count function is an ordinary object instance for us we may invoke the apply method directly and we may pass an argument the sentence into uh, the apply method and then it will return a count to us now let's do an hands-on example now let's create a class it's my function example and put a main method inside it we will write the code here in this problem we want to convert a number to the text version so we get the number six and we will write six okay so let me create a function first function will get an integer a number in this case and it will return the text version of this number okay so it will output a string the name is number to text and we will create a new function if you click control space it will help you and here is what we use an anonymous inner type it says so we will create an anonymous inner type by overriding an interface it helped us but not perfectly uh, it just says t and r as i said to you before the first type is the input type and our input type is integer and the second type is the output type it is string in our case but we are not done yet our compiler says that and unimplemented methods and the detail is that the type new function integer string must implement the inherited abstract method function integer string apply so the apply method is the single abstract method inside our interface so we need to override it and unimplemented methods automatically the input type written here and output type is written here let me write the implementation here i will write a switch case here t we will do a really simple implementation because our concern is not to re resolve the problem exactly but uh, show demonstrate how to write a function so i will write a simple case let's say zero case one return one otherwise okay now we have a reference to a function which is the first class citizen of functional programming now i may deal with this reference as it is an ordinary object instance let's say number to text dot we may invoke all the methods inside this now i need to apply and i will pass an argument inside it let's say two so this invocation will return a string to us because our input is an integer and our output is a string now let's print out this value run as java application two what if I say three to apply methods? Unknown, because we did not implement it. So the, the point is that we may refer to a function and by invoking the apply method of this function, 
and passing some arguments we may return some result so let me change this to integer what happens as you can see the compiler er error arises it says type mismatch cannot convert from integer to integer to integer to string because the developer said it he will um, re refer to a function that gets an integer and returns a string but after that he referred to a function that gets an integer and returns an integer so this is not possible in the next video we will talk about chaining the functions see you then